Hello students, my name is Saurav Singh and I am here with the first chapter of class 9th history, French Revolution. Till now, till class 8, we have studied many things in history, basically focusing on India. We are focusing on Asian countries. In class 9, this is the first time that you are stepping out of Asia and you are going to study in depth history of Europe. In the history that we are going to study in class 9, there are many movements, many events in history that has formulated the modern European society that we see today. These three major events, you find it there in your NCRT class 9 book. The first one is the French Revolution. The second one is the Russian Revolution. And the third is Nazism and the rise of Hitler with the World War II. In class 10, you will study these three topics in more details, understanding the concept of nation, etc. And etc. Or understanding more clearly what the European civilization is today. Today we are going to start with the first chapter, that is the French Revolution. Before I start this chapter, it is very much important for us to know why CBSC, why uh, the NCRT book has the chapter, we have chapter, why do we what is the reason behind it? So before going, yeah, before starting the chapter itself, we are going to have an introduction of this chapter. We try to figure out the major concepts, yeah, major ideologies and major thematic concerns that this chapter has put forward. Yeah, what happened due to the French Revolution, why is it important, why is it considered to be a benchmark in European history, not only in European history, I repeat, the French Revolution is also a benchmark in world's history. Okay, we are going to start with the introduction. I have written, already jotted down all the important points that I want to clarify to you in this chapter. Yeah, as an introduction to this chapter. My first point is that ideas of liberty, equality and fraternity of today's democracy is a result of French Revolution. Today we live in a modern democratic world. We enjoy a lot of rights. We have equality, we are all citizens, there is no one uh, above the law, everyone is equal in, in the law that you have already studied in class 7th and 8th. But this concept of equality, this concept of uh, liberty, liberty means freedom, ajadi. Liberty comes from the word liberalization which is a synonym for freedom. So liberty, equality and fraternity, these are the three, uh, three governing spirits of the French Revolution. And these things also form the uh, basis of the democracy, of modern democracy that we enjoy today. This was formulated, this liberty, equality and fraternity concept was built during the French Revolution. Liberty is clear, equality you already know. Fraternity means brotherhood, in Hindi we call it Bhai Chara. The concept of this equality, liberty and fraternity was put forward during the French Revolution. Before the French Revolution, there was a no concept of equality. The society was already uh, divided or segregated into different sections. But during the French Revolution, there was a demand for equality. And what we see in the modern democracy, equality, we can feel. The second point is that this revolution led to the end of monarchism in France. In class 7th and 8th, you might have studied about the forms of government governance, a form of government. One is the democracy that we are living in today. The other one is dictatorship. And the third one is monarchism. Yeah, monarchy, which is which means uh, ruled by king and queens. France, before the French Revolution, was under the monarchical rule. The Bourbon dynasty ruled France. But during the French Revolution, it was the first time in the world history that the people of a particular kingdom revolted again against its own leader and demanded a constitutional monarch that is the first form of democracy that we will study in depth but now we have to understand that the French Revolution is the first movement when the first time it happened that the people who were there were questioned by their own king, the monarchism was questioned and they wanted to replace the monarchy with a constitutional monarch they were liking the king and the king and the dynasty was coming from dynasty succession se aa raha tha us cheez ko wo end karna chahta hai aisa pehli baar vishwa ke itihas mein hua tha 
Third point, a society based on privilege gave way to a new system of governance. ये point बहुत deep है. मैं जब chapter को पढ़ाना start करूँगा तब आपको in depth बताऊँगा. उस समय society अलग अलग भाग में बटा हुआ था. Basically clergy, मतलब जो church के लोग हैं, nobility जो अमीर हैं या kingsmen हैं, या जो third state जिसमें आम जनता आती थी. तो जो clergy या nobility थे, they were always given some preferences. उनको कहीं ना कहीं कुछ प्रिविलेज मिलता था टैक्स रिजम्सन टैक्स नहीं पे करते थे इनफैक्ट थर्ड से घूमता इन लोगों को टैक्स पे करता था देर आर मैनी थिंग जो क्लर्की एंड नोबिलिटी फर्स्ट एंड सेकंड स्टेट इंजॉय करता था इन कंपैरिजन टू द थर्ड स्टेट फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन के बाद इस चीज को तो एंड कर दिया गया ये जो डिविजन ऑफ सोसाइटी है इन टू फर्स्ट स्टेट सेकेंड स्टेट एंड थर्ड स्टेट इट इज कॉल्ड द फ्यूडल सिस्टम फ्यूडल का मतलब होता है द ओल्ड रिजाइन पुराना तौर तरीका इस चीज़ को फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन के टाइम पे पूरा का पूरा डिबंक कर दिया गया था एबॉलिश कर दिया गया था इट वाज रिमूव्ड द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट आई दैट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टीच इज द आइडिया एंड कंसेप्ट ऑफ सिटीजंस एंड ऑल हैविंग इक्वल राइट्स फॉर फ्रेंड सिटीजंस का कांसेप्ट ये क्लास 10 का फर्स्ट चैप्टर भी है बिफोर द फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू देयर वाज ओनली किंगडम्स डचीज एंड कैंटोंस देयर वाज नो कांसेप्ट ऑफ अ नेशन द टर्म सिटीजन डिड नॉट एग्जिस्ट इन एनी काइंड ऑफ अ डिक्शनरी द टर्म सिटीजंस was first coined by the French revolutionaries called in French we call it les citoyens this is the first time the concept of citizens came into existence that everyone has equal rights and all are equal in the eyes of the government government this thing what we enjoy today is a result of the french revolution the next point that i am taking here the ideologies of french revolution were interpreted by different countries in different way and the last one The anti-colonial movement of India and other African countries drew inspiration from French Revolution. This is a very valid and very important point. I can also call it this is the legacy of the French Revolution. Why I'm calling it? Because French Revolution as a movement, I told you at the very start of the video, is considered to be a benchmark in world history. And why is it called a benchmark? Because it inspired many events which happened future, which happened in the future after the French Revolution. Like for example, the concept of many things. There, like uh, one more thing I missed. There is the Declaration of Rights of Man during the Revolution. Declaration of Rights means the fundamental rights and duties that we enjoy today. These fundamental rights and duties that were formulated during the French Revolution, the administrative many uh, revolutionary administrative principles were adopted. These things inspired many other events that happened after the French Revolution in the world's history. the anti colonial movement you might have uh, read about colonial uh, colonization where the british tried to colonize or the many european great powers tried to colonize the small countries all over the europe the anti colonial movement india ka azadi ka ladai ya baki african desh ka ladai british sarkar ke khilaf colonial ke khilaf iska bhi inspiration kahin na kahin french revolution se hi tha hamara samvidhan bhi jo bana hai usme bahut sare cheeze jo hain wo french revolution se inspired hain तो कहीं ना कहीं फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन जो है वो तो बहुत सारे इवेंट्स का हिस्ट्री में एक इंस्पिरेशन का साधन बना ठीक है